Ukrainian author of Manafort Tophead says sought input to avoid errors. Kiev, Reuters, the author of an article that U.S. Special Counsel Robert Mueller believes Trump's former campaign manager Paul Manafort ghostwrote in violation of a gag order said on Saturday he had sought input on the op-ed before publishing to avoid errors. On Friday, Mueller unveiled evidence against Manafort to convince a judge that he wrote the article to improve his public image. Manafort is facing charges as part of an investigation into accusations of Russian meddling in the 2016 U.S. election and possible collusion between Russia and the Trump campaign. The op-ed was published on Thursday in the English-language Kyiv Post under the byline of Oleg Voloshin, a former spokesman for Ukraine's Foreign Affairs Ministry. In a telephone call with Reuters, Voloshin said he wrote the article, but before publishing had shown it to Konstantin Kilimek, a Ukrainian whom Mueller alluded to in a filing earlier this week as having ties to Russian intelligence. Voloshin said he had decided to write the article to correct misrepresentations of Manafort in the media without prejudicing the U.S. Trilan had consulted Kilimic, who is close to Manafort, to make sure the text was accurate. I didn't want to write any stupid things in it that would worsen his, Manafort's, already difficult position, Voloshin said. I sent the text to Kilimic and it was Kilimic's idea to send it to Paul, Manafort, for a look. He, Kilimic, sent it back to me with some comments and suggestions. Whether these were his comments and suggestions or Paul's suggestions is not a question I can answer, he said. Voloshin said allegations of Kilimic's ties to Russia were groundless and that Kilimic, whom Reuters has not been able to reach, did not want to talk to media. Voloshin said he was prepared to testify that he had no direct contact with Manafort in the run-up to the publication of the article, which praised Manafort's work promoting EU-Ukraine relations and said he lobbied for pro-Western values, not Russian interests. In September or in the summer, when he started having problems, I sent him a letter of support. He did not respond, Voloshin said. Manafort's attorney has acknowledged that his client helped edit Voloshin's article, but denies he violated the gag order, saying an article published in a Ukrainian newspaper would not substantially prejudice the case in the United States. The charges against Manafort include conspiracy to launder money and failing to register as a foreign agent working on behalf of former pro-Russian Ukrainian President Viktor Yanukovych's government who was ousted in 2014. All parties were ordered by the judge on November. Eight not to discuss the case in public or with the media in a way that could substantially prejudice a fair trial. Earlier this week, Mueller's team discovered the draft top head was in the works and ordered Manafort's lawyers to shut it down. Writing by Alessandra Prentice, editing by Clelia Oziel.